Yo, what's going on guys? This is Raj from OTR Gaming TV and as you guys seen previously, we put a video up of the Crew 2 trailer. Now I'm going to go into depth analysis of what the hell I see and what not. So to be honest, we made a previous video about what we expected and, and none of that's in there. We, apart from new cars, like I see a new Chevrolet, I see, um, I think I saw the new Aston Martin in this, like the trailer's playing now. I see the 458, I think that's the Mercy right there. The Porsche, I think they, they put an official Porsche in there. You know, they had RUF before. And now I think they got actual, actual Porsches in there. Um, I don't know what's up with the map upside down. I, think, I don't think the game's going to be like that. I'm hoping not, because I've seen the um, gameplay footage, which we're going to talk about in a bit as well. So, from the trailer, what we can see is, is definitely, it's got to do with motorsports. So, you're going to be driving cars, bikes, boats, and planes. That's the main thing that's going to be in the crew. Uh, am I excited about that? Uh, you know, it's a new thing. You know, I'm still going to buy it. I'm still going to test it out because I still love the crew. But was it something that I was looking forward to or even expecting? I wasn't expecting that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting, you know, new map, new cars, completely different thing. But this is, a, this is you know, it's, it's a completely in a different direction. You know, you got planes, boats, cars, everything, all that. And from what I can see, it's it's a bit crazy. I think you play as a guy who's gonna try and become number one in every single type of racing event, cars, boats, planes, you name it. Yeah, as you can see through that. And then look, that's the new Aston Martin I was talking about. So I'm glad they're gonna and you can see the um, M4 circuit as well, circuit car. That's the same car that's in the crew. So what I'm seeing from this is that they're gonna have the same cars that were in the crew and they're adding new ones into it, which I'm glad. And they got new sponsorships and everything, so I know they got more money to play with. So I'm hoping and they're going to have a new cars. Speaking of new cars, guys, I did spot an Audi. I spotted an Audi. I'm going to show you the picture of the Audi right now. It's even in the trailer when we're going to get to that spot. I'm going to tell you when I see it. But look, as you can see, we've got the Raid spec. It's still in America. Like, I'm kind of I'm kind of pissed that the map's still in America. Like, It's like I'm going to spot same places that I've seen in the crew already. I'm, 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 and you know they're going to charge you a ridiculous price. Like, it's still going to be £40 when it comes out. 40 50 quid. But I'm liking it. I'm not gonna say because I've seen the graphics are a lot better. Graphics are much better. But I'm gonna show you guys now the picture of the Porsche. So bear with me. Okay, so there it is. That's the picture of the Audi in the corner, the yellow one. You can see that clearly. So they listen to us. They, you know, they bought new cars in there. Now I also got footage of the gameplay. That's also out. If you guys don't know, check that out. So I'm seeing some buggies against some planes. Now I'm thinking I've seen a lot of people asking the same question that can you have different specs for the planes? I doubt it. I think there's only be one spec for the plane. Um But obviously you can buy different planes, customize it the way you can customize a car, like take it to the HQ or actually I shall even know, that would be crazy. But I'm assuming, you know, you're gonna be able to do that. You're gonna be able to take your plane to a, a modification plane shop, you know. It's gonna be kinda mad actually. What I'm liking is, imagine you can do a plane cruise, guys. Like, that's mad. Four, four guys in the air, four guys in a car, and then if we can get to the sea, four guys in a boat. But from what I can see now, look at this Porsche, guys. Straight away, you can see the graphics are a lot better. I'm seeing more, more texture and more um, effort being put into the, into the graphics. Look at the, the shine on the roads, on the cars, the reflections of the lights and everything. I see the new Camaro in there. I see there's the Audi. That's the Audi I was talking about. Look at the Audi, guys. You got an Audi in there, bro. This reminds me of a midnight club. It's just a scenery because it's night. You're on the street. It's all looking crazy. And I think I've done this race, you know, in the crew one. Going the other direction. Most of you might know it's a street race. But yeah, look at this. Bam, bam. This is where they switched it up, guys. They were saying that they, they you know, they took underground racing. Oh, look at the interior. The interior is good. Interior is looking nice. See the official Porsche sign on there before we used to have RUF or something like that. And here we go. This is where they switched it up. They took the races from the underground street racing to the roof. That, to me, that's like, yo, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's a nice switch up. Because to be honest, they could have made this game like, you know, the previous crew, you just have races all over the sea. They made it in the exact same map. But now they took it to the roof. So what I think they've done is they made the map, same map, but they kind of switched it up and they made, um, 
they made it more racer friendly friendly that's the word i think racer friendly so so it's not exactly the same as the us but you know based in the us and modified to become more racer friendly straight away guys you can see the graphics are a lot better I mean, don't get it twisted. The graphics on, on the crew weren't bad, but this is the mad thing. You see that? Like, I don't know if that's going to happen in the game. You see how the road just bent down? So I don't know if that's part of the game or if they made that or if that's just part of the trailer. Because remember, this is pre-alpha footage. It's not even the actual completed game footage. But the map went down. Like, now we're in the boat. And look at the sea. Like, it's sideways and then it focuses and it goes straight. So I'm thinking, that's just an effect. I don't think that's actually in the game. Like, I don't think you actually throw it down like that. I think when you're switching to a boat, because it will show later on in the trailer that you can switch from a boat to a car to a plane almost like in gta we can switch characters from franklin michael and um, trevor for those of you who don't play gta you know that feature but i think that effect of going up and side and up and down is just yeah it's just it's just an effect to show that yo i'm changing from one to another i don't think that the game actually does that i don't think the map actually bends like that because if it did i'm not gonna lie it's an awesome feature but then it's like what the fuck is going on you know i'm being honest guys like what the, if the map started to bend like that and i'm racing up 200 miles an hour, I'm like, yo, what the fuck just happened there, you get me, but, I don't know, there's a lot of things, like, now, now obviously, we're doing, like, I like, I'm liking it, like, I'm not gonna hate the boat races, guys, I done a lot of boat races in GTA, I wasn't a fan of them, but this looks a lot better, look at the graphics, the graphics are looking mint, the, I'm pretty sure, it's the same, like, you're gonna, have, you're gonna be able to take your boat to a, a modification shop, but I don't know if there's gonna be any specs for it, like, I don't think there's going to be perf spec, circuit spec for boats, I'm pretty sure. They probably will have a spec for it, but I'm not sure what it would be. It'll be kind of good. And now look, bam. We've got planes. Planes, guys. We've got planes. Now, this is where they start talking about all the planes that they got in there. And look at the sea, guys. The sea looks pretty nice. Plane. Oh, look at the graphic. I'm not even lying. Look at the graphics are looking nice, man. So now we're doing a plane race. So most of you, or most of our subscribers, are from the crew, right? And we're like, I don't know. We, it's, we're gonna enjoy this, but I don't think we're gonna be enjoying it as much as I think. To be honest, like I, I personally feel like it was. It, it seems like a letdown. You know, I'm not gonna hype it up like every other YouTube say. Oh my God, the game looks amazing. It's got some good aspects to it. You know, it's they made it based on motorsporting, so. But I was more looking to, you know, the street racing, looking to uh, to have some nice luxury cars. I've only seen one new car in there, and obviously I'm waiting for the new car list to be coming out. And of course, when that comes out, we're going to update you on that. From, but look, you can go inside the plane, so they've gone into detail on in it. I think they've, they've really gone into detail on this. But you can tell, like, I can still tell places that this is from. This is from the crew. And look at that, I like the Camaro, there's the Porsche again. So as you saw guys, the switch up, you, I think if you have to press, I think it's down. If you press down or press one of the buttons, it gives you the option to switch from plane, boat, and car. Looking nice. But yeah man, like guys, I don't really know. I'm, I'm liking the game, it's going to show you now, you can do the full spots, you know, street racing, freestyling, all that. So they've got four different race types, I guess. Let me know guys, like from what I can see straight away, you've got a new HUD, you see the where the, where the speed meter is going up, that's new, the nitrous is on the side, the map is changed a little bit, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too happy about it, I mean it looks good, looks nice, new cars, we'll see in it, like there you go, there's what I'm talking about, the little switch up, you press a button and you can switch from car to boat to plane and, and like in any, any direction so you can just keep, I think, I don't know if you can do that in a race though. Like if, if it goes from a race where you, where you have to use all three, that's going to be kind of difficult. But I think they're trying to make the car, they're, they're trying to make the crew too completely unique compared to, you know, you got Need for Speed coming up. They're trying to move it away from Forza. If they just made the same thing, they wouldn't make the same as Forza. But I'm, I'm still going to buy this game, guys, because new cars, new, new story mode, new games, new races. And I'm hoping we can have more than eight players in the lobby. But that's crazy, driving upside down. So as you can see, they're talking about the stunt bolt, the stunt points over there. So you can literally perform stunts, and and that will help you rank up in any vehicle, any place, anytime. So like this guy's flying upside down, going through the buildings, close range. You get points for that. Now you're moving on to the dirt race, and you guys saw the Red Bull. 
So I know they got more. I know Ubisoft got more sponsorships for this game, which means they have more money to play with. So I'm hoping we can see more, more cars, much more cars, like licenses for different cars. I'm talking about Maybachs, Rolls Royces, all those. I don't know if that's in there, but because that really doesn't have to do anything with motorsports, to be honest. I've seen a new Aston Martin in there. One thing for sure, guys, all cars are in there, guaranteed. So the raid spec, this this is everyone's gonna know this is the raid spec. Races are looking same. Anyway, guys, to wrap it up, the crew's still based in the US. They're gonna use the same map, but they're gonna adapt it to make it more efficient with the races. They've got free specs now, not free specs, sorry, free vehicles. Make it four actually. Cars, bikes, boats, and planes. You're gonna be playing in all four of those aspects within the game. I'm excited about the game, but I'm not thrilled. I was, you know, hoping to see a lot, a lot more craziness, but within the street racing, like I'm liking the boats and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, but I was hoping for, you know, I think we were all hoping for something better, man. Like you see the trailer Need for Speed guys, and then you compare it to the trailer of the crew. Doesn't even look like the crew's a street racing game, you know. It looks like it looks like GTA 6, man. <laughs> Put it that way, GTA 6. But overall, guys. You know we're going to keep on top of this. We're going to buy the crew. We're going to do the request that you want us to do. Anything, guys. I'm talking about if you want to see a plane versus a bike. If we're able to do that in the crew, we're going to do that for you. So stay tuned. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if there's any anything new, any new updates, you know where to keep it locked in. We're going to keep you updated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>